All right, Foodie Jewels here. It's holiday season, so we have a holiday party with some of my parents, family, friends, and their kids who I grew up with. I'm back in town in Texas. Um, today we're making, it's a not so traditional Filipino dessert. It's called a mango float, which is basically, um, it's pretty simple. I have here four cups or about one quart. I don't, I'll post what that is in metric in my comments of heavy whipping cream with two teaspoons of vanilla whipped with 10 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. I have several sachets of graham crackers. The recipe called for, I think, 21. I uh, will eyeball what we need. We have some freshly cut mangoes that we cubed up. You can use any type of mango. We use kind of the yellow skin ones that are commonly eaten in the Philippines. I think they're in Mexico too, not the Indian mangoes. You can use whatever mango you want. Uh, so basically uh, that, and I also crushed up some graham crackers for the top. So basically it's just a layer of graham crackers, uh, this cream, whipped cream mixture and mango. So basically I'm just gonna layer it. It's a really, really simple dessert. So I'm just gonna layer the graham crackers here. No baking, no oven. This is perfect if you live um, in a small apartment or a big house. You don't need an oven. You just need a refrigerator. That's kind of the key. But assuming uh, you live in an apartment and have a refrigerator, it's pretty pretty straightforward a recipe. So we're just layering the graham crackers here. Um, and basically you're just gonna repeat these layers. Graham cracker first, followed by a little bit of the cream mixture. So you want to make sure the, 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 the crackers are covered in the cream just so that it softens. So this is a ice, traditional ice box or refrigerator dessert where it's going to uh, soften in the fridge essentially. But yeah, you're going to then put a layer of these mangoes. Um, put some mangoes here. So. Apparently the origin of the dish were when there were mango surpluses in the Philippines, people would make this kind of as a dessert. Um, in the Philippines, right, it's not so easy to get heavy whipping cream. I think they use a uh, shelf-stable uh, shelf table cream uh, that's similar to, I think you can get it in Hispanic grocery stores here. It's not so common here in the States. But basically this is what you're going to do. You're going to keep uh, repeating these layers. So I'm going to go ahead and continue layering this until I um, come to the top of the, the dish. Let me just open these graham crackers as so. Pretty simple dish. Um, this would be honestly better for a, as a summer dish, but this is good at all seasons. Everyone likes mangoes. It's a very kind of refreshing uh, dessert, especially if you're gonna eat something heavy, like Christmas, uh, Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving, anything with heavy food. This is a good like kind of refreshing, not so heavy dessert to finish with. Um, it's kind of cool. The mangoes are really uh, refreshing. Uh, and yeah, the cream kind of works nicely, especially if the ma even if the mangoes aren't really sweet, don't worry too much. Um, what's going to happen is that a lot of these mangoes are going to absorb the sugars in the cream, or at least that's my theory. Because I've used, I've definitely used um, tart mangoes before in this dish, and the the balance of the sweetness came out just right after you let it set in the fridge. So I'm going to continue putting these mangoes on top. Try and make sure we have even layers here. Make sure everybody gets some mango. You can plus this up if you have mango syrup that they commonly use in the bubble tea shops. It'll make it much sweeter though. I haven't tried it with mango syrup. But that's one idea I do want to try one of these days. Um, but the balance of sweetness is just right as is with that with just the mangoes. You don't need additional sugar because there's already 10 ounces of condensed milk 
in, and 10 ounces of condensed milk in this dish. Um, I think we're kind of converging on the final layer here, so I'll see what I can do here to make sure I get even coverage. Some of these have broken a little bit, that's okay. It's okay if they're broken. We'll make do with what we have. Um, go ahead and continue covering this. So again, as I said, you want to make sure you have full coverage of the graham crackers, otherwise they won't soften and you're gonna have a weird uh, inconsistency in texture of the dish. It's pretty simple, just make sure everything is covered um, and that way the texture is even throughout the dish for the graham crackers. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is kind of supposed to look like a rustic dish. If you wanna be really, really really if you're really kind of anal about um the aesthetics of the dish you can use a um offset spatula to smooth this out i am not that i don't really care that much about aesthetics i care more about the taste um, i guess if you're a baker you probably care more about the aesthetics i'm not so much of a baker as i am a cook but i do like desserts i have to say i like desserts so we're kind of converging on the last layer Going to top it off with the remaining mango, trying to get an even spread of what's left. We do have some leftover cream, which probably we could use for some other purposes. Honestly, this whipped cream, uh, this homemade whipped cream tastes great, just on fresh fruit by itself. Um, it's just a really refreshing kind of whipped cream. Um, let's get every last drop of mango every last bit so we don't waste anything. Drop the little bit there. And now we're just gonna sprinkle some of these graham crackers on top. I'm gonna grab out a spoon in my drawer. This just gives a little more aesthetics. You don't have to do this, but it kinda, it kinda is similar to you know what you do on a tiramisu when you put the chocolate powder on top. Um, just for aesthetics. And of course, after you put these in a fridge for a long time, these are going to soften up nicely, so it won't be uh, hard. All right, I don't want to cover it completely because you do still want to see a little bit of the white. I think I overestimated how many graham crackers I needed, Perfect. but that's okay. They can be used later. And that's the dessert mango float. We're going to stick this in the fridge basically overnight. You can leave it in the day, like a day ahead of time. It tastes better as you let it sit. Just maybe don't make it a week ahead, but like a, a day ahead should be fine. And yeah, that's uh, Foodie Jewels. That's my mango float. And yeah, cheers and Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everybody. Bye.